Hey guys, it's Irina here from awesometoos.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make 3D pixel art Flappy Bird. So let's begin. First of all, we need to open our Blender. And here, as we can see, we have our default cube. We are going to delete that default cube and we are going to press one on our number pad. So we are going to go in front orthographic view. Now I am going to add a reference so or a background but i'm going to add a reference so image then reference on desktop i will have uh, i will leave this image in the description box below for you guys to download it if you want i will scale it down a little bit here and now i will disable selecting this image so let's go here select this one and disable selection if you click on this one, you will be able to select, but if you deselect it, you won't be able to select it. So as we can see here, we can see it in all the perspectives. So yeah, click one, and now we are going to start sculpting it. So first of all, we are going to add mesh. We are going to add a cube. So we are going to grab it and put it here. Set. Also, I'm going to click transparent view and then I'm going to click tab on my number pad uh, on my keyboard. So I will go to edit mode. Now I will select the down vertices. So the bottom vertices and I will grab them to Z axis to Z axis to here. And now I will add a loop cut horizontal loop cut here. I will select these two vertices here and then I will extrude it to here, to this line. Also, I will do that exactly same thing with these vertices here. So extrude it to here, to here, okay. Now I will be adding another horizontal loop cut here and I will be selecting these two vertices and extruding this part to here. Also, I will do that exactly the same thing on this side. So I will extrude it to here. Now I will add another loop cut here. I will select these two vertices and then I will extrude them to here. Also, I will do that exactly the same thing here, but I will add another loop cut, horizontal loop cut here. So I will select these two vertices, click E on my keyboard and then extrude. Again, I will add another loop cut here. I will select these two vertices and then extrude to here. Grab it to X axis to here. And now I will add two more loop cuts here and here, horizontal loop cuts. And then I will extrude. I will do that thing with this here so i will select these three vertices these four vertices here and then e i will extrude them here also and the last thing that i'm left with is this one here so i will be adding vertical vertical um loop cuts here so i'll be adding one here and control r and one here so select those extrude them to here so we have our base now we are going to divide all the cubes here that we have in this icon and we are going to separate them so here i will add one loop cut here also at the bottom i will add one more and let me see where do i need okay i need one vertical here so Control r and voila I think that we are done with that. Okay, now click face select and we are going to be selecting the vertices that we want to extrude a little bit out. So I'm going to click on these vertices here. Also, I'm going to do the vertices that are on the eye. So here, here and mouth. I want mouth to be a little bit out. 
So I will be selecting only these vertices that are inside. Go ahead and click three on your number pad, go to right orthographic view or the side view and we are going to click E for extrude. But we are going to click here to individual origins. Now if I press E then I will see that um, I extruded them a little bit. So click one and now we are going to start putting our materials in. So we are going to click on the material and now click C on your keyboard. Uh, that allows us to select all the things that we want to select. We are going to select these five vertices here because these two vertices and this one also uh, are going to be there because we extruded the part here and we want the inside to be also black. So we want to select those. We are going to select only the black parts now and then we are going to do other colors. So I'm going to also select this inner eye here, here. We are going to select everything here also. Okay. Only the black parts. We can also um, scroll out this, this circle and we can make this circle look bigger so we can choose more vertices but we don't want to do that this is good as it is so we are going to be just selecting these vertices here or these faces in this case and voila now i will go uh, out of this mode so click escape and now I'm going to add a new material that is black. So assign, and if you go to render mode, you will see that everything is black. Now I will go again to solid mode and to transparent view. Now I'll be selecting this white, this white color. So again, click on the side and we are going to select these, these white faces here. Here also, here, here here and here. And we are going to click plus on our materials, select new, and we are going to add white color. Now, if you go to render mode, you will see the white here. So if I add, uh, if I bring this light um, to here, G Y, I will see that it's white. Okay, now click tab and then go to solid mode. We are going to be selecting this yellow parts okay I just clicked C on my keyboard and then I will be selecting these so escape click plus and then we are going to add yellow so I'll I will have it this yellow okay and now we are going to do the orange part. Let's select all of these. Click plus, select new, and then we are going to do the orange part. For the yellow part, I will do it a little bit brighter. So yeah, this one. If I go to render mode, I can see that it's like this, but I'm going to again select the orange part. I will select this one. So if I go to render mode, I will see that it's this orange. Now go to solid mode. We are going to select this here, mouth, and we are going to click plus and assign new material that is going to be red. So assign, and if I go to render mode, we didn't assign it, so control, okay, assign. And as we can see here, it's red. And our Flappy Bird is done. I'm going to be 
selecting this empty uh, or this photograph and I'm going to enable this one and delete it. I'm going to scale this bird in Y axis. Also, I'm going to be adding a mesh plane. I'll be scaling it on one. I will be moving this bird a little bit up like this. I will add a color to my plane that it should look something like this. Okay, this color, I will be scaling it here also on zero. I will be rotating it a little bit up. So if I press zero and if I move my camera a little bit, I will make it like this. Okay, and I will render it in cycles. So I will render it in full HD and in, um, okay, PNG and voila, everything is done. Once you go ahead and turn on your render, it is going to be rendered. Guys, this is the final render. If you like it, please leave a like, share and subscribe. Also, click that notification bell button for you guys to see all the new content that we are going to be uploading. If you would like to make the whole background to your Flappy Bird, we have a course that on our academy. The link is down in the description box below. Check it out. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Bye!